Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. Sure nice to see you here with all your smiling faces. Hey, today we're gonna to be checking out a beautiful W900L. Uh, it's one of my last ones this year. Not the last one, but one of my last ones this year. So she's real special, so let's see what this is all about. All right, so here she is. So this is a beautiful white work truck. This truck is sold to a good friend of mine, Delbert Peters. Thank you for your business. He hauls fuel in Manitoba here. And uh, beautiful W900 here. So this is a 2024 W9L long hood. Has a 62 inch aero cab flat top sleeper now. It's a twin to a truck that I did for Delbert a number of years ago. I did a video that was off-site. Uh, it was in the middle of winter, it was really cold, but uh, today it's actually not too bad. It's a 244-inch wheelbase. And we'll start up front here, show you what we got going on. So it's a little dusty here. It rained last night, and uh, so the dust kind of sticks to it. So kind of tough to keep it 100% clean, but anyhow. Uh, we got the Texas-style bumper. We have the uh, bug screen in the front of the grill. Also, it is in behind the grill too, so it's kind of built in, so two sides for double protection. Lots of bugs here. Standard headlights, we have a wide track 13 two front axle with disc brakes. We'll show you those in a minute. And we got the Durbright rims on the front. Those are the nice mirror polish. I really like setting them up this way where we have the stainless kind of all on this bottom area here. So it's all kind of uh, capped off. Shift products provided these uh, under cab and under sleeper lights. And uh, so that is a really nice blind mount system there. And then we have the polished uh, toolbox along with DPF box on the other side. We have the, we have the uh, def tank cover with uh, polished on there. Same thing with the strap, seven inch straps and then what i like to do is make sure the details it's all about the details when i spec a truck so double triple quadruple checking things over to make sure that it's perfect uh, fuel tank straps are lined up at the back here using the same cross member so it nice and evenly spaced and then same thing the end of the fuel tanks lined up and the gap on the front the gap on the back match so those are the same as well so otherwise they just kind of get put wherever. I like to make sure that when I order a truck that that's kind of how we set things up. We have the access steps right here with a two foot deck plate. We have a, ho a chrome hose antenna. So this is a, a chrome option. And on the back wall, we have the standard uh, work lights. So 
we got the two on the side of the bunk and then four in the back with a rear bunk window. Uh, so we have here the blind mount class eight deep drop half fenders. Oh, so those are a beautiful setup, really like them. And shift products got the blind mount uh, bracketry right here. So this is one of their brackets for the blind mount. So we don't have any paddles kind of in front or a bar across. It's a really nice, robust, sexy looking setup. I like it. Uh, over here, we have the Durbright rims on the back and we have the AG400 suspension eight bag air ride with the uh, Super 40 rear ends in it here. So uh, gearing is a 373 gear ratio. We have drum brakes on the back here. And then this is the no lube fifth wheel, uh, 24 inch slider, nine inch ride height, and no lube because it has this Teflon spacer on top there just so that uh, goes on the trailer and keeps it a little bit cleaner. So on this side here, we have the larger fuel tank. The front uh, strap is a little off centered from where uh, where I would want it, but uh, it's where, where it was placed from the factory. Uh, and then uh, we have the emergency door with the vent in the passenger side here. DPF box right here, and we got a little gap uh, in the front there just so that we can have the fuel tanks and the fillers at the back and everything lines up. Uh, now on the air cleaners, these are the 15 inch air cleaners with the uh, access bolts on the outside. Uh, we put on the rear red lights. So those are the uh, air cleaner lights on the back. We also have them on the front and those are uh, just that strip light right there. And this is a nice system that we can offer uh, with a light and the air shield covers over top. So a really nice way of configuring that. So let me uh, open up the hood here and I'll show you what's in there before we go inside and check out the interior. Now, something that's new before we open up the hood, uh, I really like for our 100th anniversary, we've changed the logos that go on the side of the hoods. So all the W900s come with this lettering all across the front and I really like that. That's the same kind of lettering that we have at our factory in Seattle in Renton. Uh, it's on our door and I'll be going out there in about a month or so. Hopefully going to be bringing you guys some content from that and uh, I'll, uh, I'll showcase as much as I can of that in the future. So that's a new thing right there. I really like it. Uh, up top we have the standard LED lights up on the roof and then none on the sleeper and then we have the uh, standard stainless visor. Exhaust pipes are the 36 inch by seven uh, wide tailpipes up top. Okay, let's open up the hood here. All right, so you maybe noticed how easy that hood was to open. Uh, something that I, I put on some trucks is the, uh, the fender reinforcements, the heavy duty hood uh, reinforcement, which basically has that little bar right there and then a bar coming down here. Uh, that will rest inside there and it does stick sometimes, so it makes it a little harder to open, but without it, it's, it's fairly easy to do. But anyhow, uh, we have the remote boosting terminals here and here, remote lube terminal, there's the quick air fill right there, and we have your fuel water separator over there. Uh, this is a five and a quarter, 1850 torque rating on this Cummins X15 performance series. And uh, like I said, we have disc brakes on the front end. This side here, we have the hot side, you got your turbo accessories, and then we have the HVAC system right up in there. And then uh, we have little ball valves here to shut off the coolant going into the heater core uh, for summertime operation, if a person wants. So I'll close up this hood and go inside. All right, so as we step inside here, you'll notice we have the diamond stitching on the door panel. So that means it's a diamond VIT interior. You also have the wood grain dash, and there's that new Kenworth logo. And we also have that down on the bottom here. So this changed for the 100th anniversary as well. Just a subtle little change for this, uh, this logo. 
This is the other logo right there. That's kind of the old school logo. Um, that's where my preference is still, but uh, who knows, maybe it'll change in the future. Uh, so in the bunk here, we have the, or in the cab rather, we have the leather wrap steering wheel. So you can see here, it's a nice leather wrap around it. I'm just trying to get my light on, but it's, oh, there we go. There we go, now you can see a bit better. So we've got that leather wrap. Uh, as far as the gauges, we have the four over there, your standard center gauges. And then uh, we have eight here, plus the Nav Plus HD screen. Uh, up above is the radio. So that's Bluetooth, uh, Sirius XM radio that comes with the Nav Plus display. And then uh, we have your uh, PTO switch right here. There is the DPF regen switch, auxiliary lights for the air cleaner and cab uh, panel lights, air traction control. We've got your fifth wheel slider uh, hazards, your engine, um, your engine brake. Sorry, I don't know why I'm driving a Blake here. Engine brake, your settings, and then uh, there's your uh, cruise, air suspension dump, and then your full four way diff locks. Over here, we have the 18 speed Eaton Fuller transmission. Uh, as far as the dash goes, we have the gray dash. And then uh, we have black carpet on the floor. And then we have the CB radio up above there. And then there is that nice diamond interior up on the roof panel, which I really like in this cab. As far as the seats go, we have the leather seats. These are the uh, premium plus air cushion, premium plus seats with the additional lumbar supports over here. And then they also have the heat function over there. A little storage pocket on this side. And then you also have a storage pocket down below here for the driver's side. There's all the operator's manuals and so forth. Now in the back bunk here, I don't want to step in there. Just so I'll just kind of give you a quick tour this way. All right, so let's just step into the bunk here for a second. I'll show you back here. So really nice interior back here. Uh, you got the diamond stitching all up on the roof and the back wall and along the side. So that's a really nice way of having it done. I really like that. It's kind of... Uh, Sad to see it go away with uh, the new models. Uh, they just have the back wall, but nothing on the roof. So I do like that. Uh, we have storage up here and here, additional storage down there and there. You can get an optional uh, outlet for a refrigerator if you want to have one down below. Uh, this is the mattress that comes with a 62 inch bunk and you can get it to be optional to lift up if a person wants. This back window is optional as well. You can get it dark tint. You can get a sliding window if you want or just uh, a rear panel on the back with no uh, window at all. Uh, down here is a little uh, closet and then more storage up on the back here. You have the Vista windows up top here, which have it covered right now. You have these uh, little covers on that. And then on the back here is the old school Aerodyne. There's a sleeper lights, panel lights, and then your adjustment here for the bunk heat and air conditioning if you want to operate that. Uh, we have the emergency vents right here, or the, the vents right here. So you just flip that just to get a little bit of a breeze if you want. And then this side has the emergency hatch, the emergency door. You just slide that down and you're in. On this side here, you have power outlets. So you got the 12 volts, uh, cigarette lighter, ashtray, uh, garbage can, and then uh, just a power outlet if you want to charge a cell phone or something like that. So. Uh, on these seats here, you'll notice the driver's seat has a uh, armrest kind of flipped out of the way. So that is an option to flip it back and forth. So that's a nice feature that you can get. It is not standard. You do have to request that when specking a truck. So there you go. All right, so that's it for this week's video. Thanks so much for coming by to watch. If you like this kind of content, sure give this video a thumbs up I'd really appreciate that and even take it a step further and subscribe to the channel if you're new to this channel please do that and uh, tell your friends I'd love to grow this channel and bring more content to you guys so uh, subscribe to keep me motivated to go and so uh, if you also want to check out my website if you're interested in specking and ordering a new Kenworth truck if you are based in Canada please click up the link here and that will take you to my website where we can get talking about ordering your very own truck so uh, as you know or maybe not we are on uh, limited availability on trucks especially the w900 
But uh, by all means, give me a call and I will do my very best to look after you. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, have yourself the world's best day. Shoo.